What's going on YouTube? My name is Matthew Bowen and this is my YouTube channel. Um, just starting out on here as you can see. I have no videos, no nothing on here yet. So this will be my first video. For this first video, we're going to be showing you how to install the SLR angle kit on a C5 Corvette, which is the car that I picked to use because I love Corvettes. Um, they're great all-around cars, they're light, they got a lot of power, you don't need to do anything to the motors and stuff, so um, yeah, let's get into it. I'll show you the kit I got going on. So this is the SLR kit, comes with a new little shortened little tie rod deal that goes into the steering rack, comes with the adapter bracket, looks pretty nice, nice billet, powder coated gray, comes with the uh, connector sleeve, goes from that to this comes with all the uh, hardware and whatnot you need to install it and then it comes with these little guys now I didn't know what these guys were for until I had to call up the guys at SLR and see what they were for apparently they're for limiting the amount of uh, angle you get in case like you have like issues with uh, it hitting somewhere or whatever you can limit that and just install these guys and uh, hopefully fix that problem but we will see I've already installed half of what so like I did the right side so that I could actually see what I was doing and know what I needed and good thing I did because you have to have some sort of special tool for this guy a little wrench which they didn't put, they didn't say anything that I needed that. I mean, they didn't even come with instructions for this. So, um, pretty sure people are having the same issue. There's no instructions, and the tool for this is like a hundred dollars just for this. I mean, it looks like you can just take any wrench, but I mean, I I went to Home Depot and looked for the wrench. They were all too big, too small. Um, so I just ended up making my own wrench. I had a whole bunch of like, uh, big wrenches and uh, all I did was grind down one so to kind of fit it in there and make it work and I cut off the other end of it because it's to make it a little shorter. So um, without any further ado let's uh, get into the installation. Thank you. 
take the whole thing off like that. Well, I didn't ruin it, so I didn't really want to use this thing, but it wasn't coming off, so I used it, and I think I'm good. No rips, no nothing, so. Alright. This little bracket right here, and there's another one right here on the back of the spindle. I'm gonna take off. I don't need these little brackets anymore. thing off, take that off, and it takes that little freaking clip off back there which is a pain in the ass. So see how all that goes. Everything. I had to kind of break it off. I'm just going to use a zip tie when I put it back together. Should be alright. So, so, it looks like if you get the boot off, um, you got to push this little sleeve back to expose the part where this whole thing twists off. So. I'm gonna use like a little a hammer and flathead screwdriver to kind of go around it and tap it on back.
it is. So now I've exposed the, uh, exposed the flat areas where I'm going to take my little homemade tool, which is right here. So this is a 32 that I took and I cut the end off of it. I cut the tips off and then I ground it down right there so that it would fit in there because otherwise if you buy the tool online they don't even tell you because this whole kit doesn't come with an instruction so it doesn't obviously tell you that you need like a special tool to take those off and it's like a hundred dollars like who's gonna want to spend a hundred dollars on one little tool it's like no so this is what I do, this is what you can do uh, if you got extra wrenches laying around, big wrenches. I mean, I had three of these, so I mean, I didn't really care if I messed this one up because now I'll have this one forever and if I need it again. So, let's see. Take this off. I know it was kind of a pain to get off the other one, so this one's probably going to be the same. That's how you get it off, just like that.